Hi guys, welcome to this week's session. Uh, this week we're going to be concentrating on something that we did for part of last week's lesson, which is looking at throwing and catching. Now to start with, I just want you to repeat what we did last week, just to get the idea of getting our hands together to catch, watching the ball all the time. Okay, those are really important. Any game you play that involves throwing, catching, hitting, anything like that, really important that you watch the ball all the time. So, start with, get your wall. If you've got a partner, remember that's perfect as well. I just want you to be throwing the ball against the wall, getting your hands in to catch it. Remember, make it difficult for yourself. Don't do every throw straight. Make sure you move sometimes. Okay, so throws here. You can have throws over there. Throws over here. Some low throws. Okay, some throws which make you move backwards. Okay, so vary your throws so you challenge yourself. But all the time, watch the ball. Get your hands ready to catch it. Okay, once you've spent a little bit of time just having a quick practice, with either the wall or with your partner, you'll be ready to move on to the next activity. Okay, key stage one for your next one. What you're going to do is you're going to try and roll the ball at a target. Now we're going to play this game where we pick a name or an animal and we're going to try and spell out that animal by hitting the target. So, <coughs> I've got my cone in the middle there. I've got my cones right on the outside. And what I'm going to do is go to my cones right on the outside and roll the ball at the target in the middle. If I hit it, I'm going to start to spell it my word. So for example, if I put the word cat, if I rolled it and hit it, I get a k. If I rolled it and hit it again, I get my a. If I rolled it and hit it again, I get my t. Now you can pick any words you like, you make it as long as you like, as long as you can spell it. And you can put the cones as close or as far away as you want as well. Now, once you've had a go, time yourself, see how long it takes you to make the word, so I see how long it takes you to make cat, and then have another go, see if you can beat yourself or move further away and make it harder. Or make the thing that you're hitting smaller. Remember you can do this indoors as well. So I'm just going to show you what I want it to look like now. So here's my ball, remember you can do this with any ball. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to roll. Oh I missed that time, I'm going to get my ball. I'm going to go over here. I hit it so I got a curve for cat. I'm going to go here. I hit it that time so I've got my ah. I'm going to go over here this time. I got my t, I'd stop my timer, see how long it took me, and I'd have another go and try and beat it. Remember, you can move these cones further away, try and make it harder, and you can go against somebody as well, see if you can beat their time. Have a go. Okay, for your next activity, you're going to need your ball. Now, if you've not got a tennis ball, that's fine, you can still use a uh, basketball or something like that. But a tennis ball is perfect for this one. What I want you to do is you want you to pick a target in your garden or in your house or wherever you're doing this. Now, um, it's up to you what your target is. You can pick something that's quite a big target or something like me. I'm picking my uh, washing pole there, so I'm picking quite a small target to hit. And what I've done is I've circled it with my cones or my items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the ball at my target. Now, if I hit it, then I'm going to spell out a word. So it could be any word I like. I could pick something like cat. I could pick something longer if I want to. But we're going to spell out a word. And what I'm going to try and do is every time I hit the pole, I'm going to add a letter to my word. So for example, if I, if I did cat, if I hit the pole, I get a k. If I hit it again, I get an a. If I hit it again, I get a t. Made my word. I'm going to see how long it takes me to make that word. And then next time I'm going to try and beat it again. Now you can make the word as long as you like. And also I put the cones really close to mine. It's going to be quite easy hopefully for me. But if you want to move it further away. And you want to make it harder and make the cones further away. It's completely up to you. Okay so I'm just going to show you what I want you to do. So I'm going to use the word cat. Okay so I'm going to pick a cone to start with. I'm going to start here. Try and hit my pole. Hit it so I've got a cut. I'm going to pick my ball. I'm going to go to a different place. I hit it so I've got an A. I'm going to pick my ball, I'm going to go to a different place. Miss it that side so I don't get anything. Get the ball, go to a different place. T stop my timer, see how long it took me. Uh, I'd restart my timer, have another go, see if I can beat my score. You can pick a longer word, or like I said, move the cones further away, make it harder for yourself. Have a go. Okay, as you can see, I've set up something slightly different now. I'm going to have a go at rolling. Now, when you're rolling this time, give everything a different point value that you've got out here. So give it a different score. So you might get two points for a cone. You might get a point for the tunnel. You might get a point for the big blue thing at the back. I'm going to buff it over there. You might get three points for hitting that one. 
have 10 rolls and see what score you get. Now you could have a go against a partner, um, if you've not got a partner, someone in your house to play against, then you could just have a go against yourself, maybe have three goes, um, 10 times and see how, what your score is, add them all up and see if you can try and beat your score. Okay, so we're just doing this by rolling this time, I'm going to do a throwing one in a minute, I'm just doing this one by rolling, okay? So, my uh, cone's going two points, so I'm going to go for a cone first of all, Got the yellow coat, so that's two points. Might have a go for a tunnel this time. Yeah, I've got a point for that one as well, so I'm on three points so far. I'm going to go for tricky red cone at the back. Three points for this one because it's a red one. Oh, I missed. I'm on three points after three goals. Okay, I'd have my 10 goals, add up my score, and then next time I try and beat it and see if I can beat my score. Have a go at that one, and then in a minute we're going to do a throwing one. Okay, for your final activities, you're going to do a little bit of throwing and concentrating on um, trying to hit a target. So I've got lots of targets set up here. I've got a little tunnel, which I'm going to try and get the ball into. Uh, I've got some cones, lots of cones scattered around. I've got my little blue horse at the back over there. I've got a bucket that I can try and get it into. Give each of them a different point worth. So cones might be two points, the tunnel might be a point, the big blue thing might be three points. It could be anything you want in your garden, but give each thing a different point score. Uh, give yourself an amount of throws as well, so you might say you might have 10 throws, okay? Have 10 throws, see how many points you get in your 10 throws. Now really important with this, it has to hit it as it's going through the air and hit it. If it bounces, this one doesn't count, okay? So the rolling one we did a minute ago, if you roll it and hit, that's great. This one, it has to hit it straight as it's coming down. If it bounces a few times, this time it doesn't count, okay? So that's really important. Once you've had your 10 goals, add up your score, um, maybe try against another person, see if you can beat another person in your family. Um, if you're not going to be able to see your family, just try and beat your own score. Maybe have 10 throws, but maybe do it three times and see what your best one is and see what your best score is. Remember, let me know if you get a really good score. Okay? I've got two balls, but if you've only got one, that's okay. So you can stand on your starting point, which is here. I'm going to try and hit things. Give, a, give all of them a different point score and see how many points you can get. So I'm going to go for the tunnel first of all. Two points for the tunnel, I'm going to have a go. Oh, two points for my tunnel. Okay, so that's my first throw, I'm on two points. I'm going to go for a cone this time. Oh, I missed. Okay, never mind, I'll have another go. I'm going to have a go for the blue horse this time. Ooh, I think that bounced through before it got there, so remember that doesn't count this time, so I didn't get anything for that. So after my three throws, I'm only on two points, so I really need to practice and improve. Okay, have a go at it, see what scores you get, let me know. Okay guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, hopefully you get outside this week and manage to get to do some of these. If not, all of these can be done in your house, remember? You can do some rolling, you can do some throwing, just in a smaller space. But remember, be really accurate with your throws, okay? We want to make sure that when you're throwing, you concentrate on where you're throwing. For now, like I said, I don't mind whether you throw underarm or overarm. That's absolutely fine and up to you. We're going to work on that more in a few weeks. But what I want you to concentrate on is trying to hit that target and watching the ball at all times. Okay, really important. Thanks very much for watching. Look after yourselves and stay safe. Thank you.